James Dean was such a pioneer with his acting and his style is so influential to this day. I think there is so much we can learn from the outfits that he put together in just a short lifespan, the different styles that he rocked and I'm really excited to take a deep dive into it today and see what we can learn and what we can continue to wear. So how would I define James Dean's style? Well, he was definitely one of the forerunners of what is called the generation gap. This is where teenagers and their parents started dressing differently from each other. I think this is definitely best exemplified in the movie Rebel Without a Cause. In this film, James Dean's most iconic look is with the white t-shirt, the blue jeans, and the bright red Harrington jacket. He wore the white t-shirt very frequently off screen too, and he even sometimes wore a v-neck. But wearing the t-shirt, which was actually seen for decades before that as something that was an undergarment, something that you wore under your button-up shirt, was definitely a sign of rebellion, a sign of freedom. I think James Dean knew that he looked really good in this shirt and that the white really complemented his skin tone. So he definitely gravitated towards this t-shirt as a staple piece for him and also a symbol of what he stood for. In Rebel Without a Cause and within his personal life, you also see James Dean wearing blue jeans a lot of the time. And this blue jeans and white t-shirt is definitely a very classic menswear look that you can still pull off today. And in my more casual outfits, that's something that I enjoy wearing. Another element to his casual style was a killer jacket. So in Rebel Without a Cause, he wears this bright red Harrington jacket and the difference between a Harrington and a bomber is mostly to do with the collar. With the Harrington, you have the collar that you can pop up and that also gives it a bit more of a rebellious and a bad boy look. You don't have to go for the red Harrington jacket to start feeling like James Dean. And I will admit, I actually bought a red Harrington jacket and I wore it for a few years, but eventually I kind of felt like I was just cosplaying him and I wanted to do my own thing. So what I would suggest instead is that you find a jacket could be a Harrington, could be a bomber, could be a leather jacket or a suede jacket. Just find something that really makes you feel great and don't be afraid to keep wearing that again and again and you can pair it with the staple um, shirt that you've picked out. Perhaps that's a t-shirt that you feel really confident in or maybe it's a polo shirt. But then you have this pairing that you know makes you feel great and you know you can keep going to again and again. James Dean definitely didn't just stick to one style. So he lived between LA and New York, and when he was in New York, he dressed quite differently. He wore a lot more knitwear, some chunky uh, sweaters to cope with the weather. You saw him throw on overcoats. He rocked the pea coat so well, I think he looks fantastic in this. He also gravitated towards the overcoat. There's this really iconic photo of James Dean walking down in New York, and he has his overcoat on, he has a matching pair of pants. I think they're cargo pants, actually, in this tight white t-shirt, and it just looks so bold is such a powerful image and I think you can really recreate this look and feel very powerful too. Dean definitely also enjoyed the preppy aesthetic a bit and this was something that was very popular at the time in 1950s America. You even saw people like Elvis wearing this style in their early years. And for Dean that would look something like a pair of chinos with a braided belt, a polo shirt and then a pair of penny loafers. Dean wore the penny loafers a lot, and when he wasn't wearing loafers, he would go for boots. There aren't many photos of Dean wearing sneakers, so he definitely preferred a leather shoe. And I always think that a leather shoe will look a bit more rugged, more masculine, or more elegant than a sneaker. Another piece that you could definitely steal from James Dean's looks is the Breton top. This is a striped shirt. Um, he wore them as a rugby shirt. You can also get them as a sweater. Think again, he knew that the white and the blue really complemented him, so this is why he gravitated towards this. If you find that these colors are complementary to you, then you can definitely pick one of these up. It's again, a very timeless staple piece that you know won't go out of style anytime soon. James Dean didn't accessorize his outfits very much, but he did like to wear glasses from time to time. He tended to go for tortoise shell frames for his regular glasses and he liked wire rims for his sunglasses. I think the best things to learn from James Dean's style is that when it comes to casuals, classic staple pieces really are the best. You could outright copy one of his outfits from the 1950s and still look incredibly stylish today. You also wanna pick out items that you know suit you and go to them again and again. 
For James Dean, this was the white t-shirt. Maybe for you it's a navy t-shirt. Maybe it's a white polo shirt. But pick up a few of these and you'll find that you'll get a lot of mileage out of them. I'd also pick out a killer jacket. Make sure that it's something that suits you and is something that is versatile enough that you can wear it quite often. But most importantly, remember that you can wear a few different styles in rotation. James Dean did sometimes wear a suit and tie, but I will say that overall, he didn't particularly wear this very well. So when it comes to being a style icon, I think it's definitely his casual outfits that James Dean is more remembered for. Having said that, James Dean died so young that we'll never really know how his style would have evolved over the years. I do think his style choices, being consistent in what he wore in terms of these iconic looks of the white t-shirt, the blue jeans, is that that has helped make him such an icon going on into history. There's such a bold, clear image of James Dean in people's minds that I think that has helped him be remembered over the decades. So there's definitely something to be said for having signature looks, but there's also room for experimentation. Last week, I posted a video dissecting David Beckham's style and suggesting some style secrets that you could steal from him and incorporate into your own outfits. It was from that that I got a lot of comments of suggestions for people they would like to see future videos and James Dean was one of them and considering he's one of my personal casual style icons, I knew I had to do a video on this guy. But I would absolutely welcome any more suggestions you have for people that you would like to see a style breakdown of. Um, I plan to make this an ongoing series with one video a week of a guy from history or a modern guy who I think has iconic style and we'll, we'll break it down, we'll take a look at the pieces that they go for, the colours that they wear and what we can learn from them. I have a bunch of suggestions on my list so if you have requested somebody then that video is probably coming but I absolutely welcome any more suggestions and I always enjoy hearing who people's style icons are, I think it's really inspiring. So look out for those future videos and let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for future people that I will take a look at.